Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nzula with an H, Nzula Munyao. And I'm in the village. It's one of those days that we have a blackout. It's already in the evening. So what I'll be doing, I'll be showing you how to clean this uh it's called green lantern it's been ages since it make it so it's very dusty i'll be showing you how we clean it in the village so you use ash for the for the glass and you don't dip this in the water because if you dip it in the water and you light the you light it there's a, a possibility that it's going to to crack due to change of temperature all of a sudden so i'll be showing you first i'm going to clean the frame or i can start with the glass and then afterwards i finish with the frame which I'm, i'll be using uh soapy water and a cloth so this is how you open a uh, lantern you pull up and then you do this <laughs> so so this is how it looks like so i'm using ash you can either use ash or uh, flower but for today because we're in the village mostly we use ash so you pour some amount here you make sure it's cold and it doesn't have uh, particles that might crack the glass and then you just do this so normally if you are given this role you have to be a very responsible family member it's not for everyone it's for the firstborns yeah, so this is what we do. We're okay, going to see the difference. You rub all around. Once it becomes dirty, you change, take another amount full my fridge does not have big particles that might crack the glass so you take those out like that You can see it's becoming clearer and clearer so this is how we clean our lantern glasses here in the village which village is this Kwakulu village um i'm in kenya kenya is in africa east africa yeah so this is how we do it this is how we clean our glasses as you can see it's clearing what i'm doing i'm removing soot and also clean the outside but the outside normally does not have soot so it's the inside you can also use a flower with flower or flower depends with where you went to school yeah maize meal yeah so as you can see our glass is clearing up you see now we are remaining with this part here it's getting darker so and uh, our kenya power has decided it's one of those days so scrub try do like this see the glass is it's not how we i wish we could have taken a picture for before and after so 
Sana. Yeah, so our glass is clearer as you can see. So I'll just use a dry piece of cloth to remove the excess ash. And then very fast, I clean the frame. I clean the frame. You see? Very clean. So I place it here. Um, like I've said, I'm using soapy water because we have not used this lantern for, for a very long time since we got electricity in our village. But since today there is a blackout, let's go back. They say it's Tupem Pachao from Swad of Pitao. So. So it already has kerosene or paraffin, whichever you prefer. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to to place the glass in position, and then we are. I'm going now to light it. So it's it's clean. It uh, the paint has come out, but it can do now. So this is how you place the glass. You have to see the side which swings up to the end you see this one can so you take your glass you fit it there then pull it up like this and then you make sure like yeah like that then you turn it this way and then you press it lifts this part up and then you make sure you are you are weak or is it tandy thank you and then you will see me. You like it. So when you cause this machine as it's not working, you just pull it with your with your fingers like this. And then this lamp is old. It, 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 it's very old. So you put back the glass like this. Yeah, up to make sure it's secured, it's in position. Then you reduce it. So guys, that's it for today. That is how we clean our glass. I've cleaned it really fast because you can see it's already dark. Thank you for watching. Yes, keep it it here for more DIY how we do things in the village. Remember to subscribe, leave me a comment and like. Bye.